Hey, it's great seeing you today. How are you? Bobby. Congratulations on Secret Invasion. MCU fans, they're going crazy. What was it like bringing this character to life in this series and playing someone who basically feels no love for anyone at all? Well, it's nice to know that the Marvel fans are excited, but I, it's, yeah, that's good. It was a really fun part to play. It was very exciting for me. Yeah, I enjoyed it very, very much. I would like to play more villains than heroes, yeah. You're exploring behaviors that you don't get to to really, none of us really get to do. And I don't know, it was just for me, it was just something I hadn't done before, really. And would you say like, is there any way that you can relate to him or understand, let's say his pain, his trauma by playing him? Yeah, there was a huge uh, backstory and there's a, a history between him and Nick and, and Talos that goes back a long time. And as the episodes go on, um, we get to learn more about that. So that was really important that the audience will will finish understanding exactly where he's coming from. Whether they agree with it or not is another thing, but we do get to understand why. So he's not kind of mindless, even though he's behaving in ways that are, are abhorrent. How would you describe Gravik? He's a straight up sociopath. Not that it's a good description, but I think that's, for me, it, what, how would I describe him actually? He's not well. And if you have to choose, let's say, uh, another Marvel character to play, which one would you choose and why? Have you ever thought about that? No, I'm, I'm pretty uh, happy with Gravik. He was the right one at the time. And now that you are part of this uh, MCU, uh, what future would you say that you imagine for your character? Where would you like to see him? I didn't really imagine anything after the final episode of this season that was kind of as as far as i got there is like a lot of myth around the marvel auditions for the actors do you remember how was yours and did you feel as much pressure as they usually say it was really lucky for me i didn't have to on this one but audition before and they're normally quite pressured environments and i don't like them very much i know that you played like so many iconic characters from obama to malcolm x and by the way you have been part of my favorite show ever which is Piggy blinders and i love you so much for that but what can you tell me about what it's coming up the biopic of bob marley how joyful how intense was to be playing him and what can you tell us about that it was a huge joy playing him it's called one love and uh it's a celebration of his life. It was a wonderful experience. The family were a huge part of the the movie and Ziggy was with us every day on set as well. Thank you. Lovely talking yeah. to you today. You too.